Hey guys, Soupy's Games here, bringing you another tutorial on Zetsubo no Shima, this time on how to upgrade the Wonder Weapon, the KT-4, to the Masamune. The Masamune deals a lot more damage. The affected area seems bigger. There's also this effect where if you get high on this stuff, you can move faster, and for a short time anyways. And you actually need it to complete the main Easter egg and fight the big bad Thrasher boss. So this is an awesome weapon to have. And if you plan on completing the Easter egg, you're going to need it anyway. So check it out. The first thing I recommend is actually going to check out your trials where you have the skull altar thing. You get three trials. And what you want to do is you want to complete those. I'd keep an eye on those because you can complete these at any time. You just need to complete all three challenges in order to obtain one of the parts for the upgrade process. I would add that completing these three trials as early as possible is probably something that you definitely want to do. Here's what it looks like when you actually complete a trial. As a bonus, for each trial that you complete, if you go back to the altar area, go to the challenges, once you complete it, you hit square and you actually can get a bonus. These bonuses can range from weapons, max ammos, power-ups, things like that. The next few steps would be to build the shield, build the KT-4, and unlock the Skull of Non Softway. These can be done in any order that you would like. And if you don't know how to do these, I got you covered. I've already made tutorials on each one of these, and I'll include a link in the description below. The next thing you want to do is prepare yourself to fight the spider. So what you would want to do, or what I did at least, was I pack-a-punched my weapon, I collected a few perks, and uh, just got myself overall set up with a lot of ammo to face the spider. Once you're confident that you can face the spider and beat him, go over to Lab A. Behind the blue water is this web. You shoot the web with the KT-4. You make your way down into this cave, and here comes the spider himself. Spider. Basically what the spider does, he has three main attacks. He hits you with his feet. You'll see right here, basically when he's shooting that stuff out of his mouth, you shoot him in the mouth. The second attack actually shoots this acid out of his mouth. You want to avoid that area. The third attack he has is he shakes his butt bunch of spiders fall down, but that's easy. Get out your KT-4, shoot it a couple times. You'll see the spiders all die really quick and easy. Then just fire your gun at his mouth once he starts spitting again. After a while, he dies. Gets crushed by the caved-in cave. Make your way over to his body, and you'll see this tooth right here. You want to pick up that tooth. That's the first part in upgrading. Also, bonus while you're down here, here's the free Widow's Wine. When you drink it, you actually get a trophy for that as well. Once you're done you've collected the tooth, make your way into the operation room or in the bunker area and go into this sewer pipe. You go down there, I've slowed it down. There's one blue, there's a second blue part that you pass and right after that, there's this blue rock right there. You wanna hold square right about there in order to collect the rainbow water that you see in the top left corner. That's very important. Then you make your way down into this cave in the operation room, go all the way down, pull out the skull of non Sopway, mesmerize that little rock area. It reveals this planting spot right there. You plant a seed in it, and you water it with the rainbow water. You have to do this for three rounds in a row. If you somehow screwed up like I did here, that's okay. Because what ends up happening is you can go back and you can plant another seed like here and you can water it again. If you run out of rainbow water, you go back down the sewer and you can get more rainbow water. Once you've done that, you collect the plant here and you're done with part number two for the upgrade. The third part, what you need to do is you need to complete the trials at this point. Then you need to run around with your shield out. When you see the electricity, the lightning basically, shocks the shield. You need to take that shocked shield over to lab B. You need to run up these stairs and you need to go to the terminal 
and you need to shock the terminal with your shield like this. It'll open the door, and you can get inside. If you're on solo, the door shuts by itself. If you're on cooperative, someone has to push the button for you. Once you do this, you go down a second level. Then you want to spin around, find that skeleton right there, and pull that I blue vial. I'm going to pick something it up. Useful. Then you just wait to go back up, and you've got the third and final part. Now what you want to do is make your way in the operation room, the second table. You put the KT4 there, and it upgrades to this blue liquid. You pick it up, and it's now an upgraded KT4 called the Massamune, and it is pretty beast. You can see here at round 29, it has no problem taking out a Thrasher. So that's pretty much it. Basically, you just use it to go high rounds, or you use it to complete the main Easter egg. Either way, it's a beast weapon. Have fun with it. Enjoy. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like rating and share it. Also, subscribe if you're new. I have lots of tutorials uh, for Zetsubo no Shima as well as the other maps. We just reached 40 subscribers, which is awesome. Thank you to all 40 of you guys. I really appreciate all the support. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one.